Notice. Our courses are taught in English. If you want to see subtitles in other languages, first, we open the subtitles closed captions at the bottom right of the video. Then click setting and select subtitles CC and click auto translate. Now you can choose your preferred language from the list. Hello everyone. Let's introduce the main easily damaged components of S17 Pro hash board. It is an ASIC chip. If damaged, it will cause the hash board to have lower hash rate or zero hash rate. These two chips are conversion chips. If these two chips are damaged, the signal will not be able to return to the control board, and the hash board will report zero. For MOS triodes, when they damaged, the input voltage will not be able to supply power the voltage domain through here. This is a boost chip. If the boost chip is short circuit, the boost circuit will not be able to boost the voltage normally and not provide the LDO power supply. It is the temperature sensor chip of the hash board. When the temperature sensor chip damaged, it will cause the control board to not recognize the temperature. A PIC chip. If the PIC chip is not work normally, there will be insufficient power supply causing the hash board to not function properly. It is an EEPROM chip, also namely the memory chip, which stores the code of the hash board. The chip is damaged or the file is damaged, the hash board will not work properly. one8 volt LDO tube, which is powered by the boost circuit. If the chip is damaged, it will affect the normal operation of the ASIC chips corresponding to the current domain. T his is PLL 0.8 volt chip. When the chip damaged, the power supply of the ASIC chip in the current domain will be abnormal. The chip is also an LDO 1.8 volt tube, but the chip is powered by the domain voltage, and the input voltage is small. If the domain chips cannot work normally, it can be ruled out whether the chip is faulty. Okay, if you have any questions, please leave us a message.